Hi guys, this Akron challenge is called Camel Case and it is under the Strength section, under the Problem Solving section. So here we are going to receive a string, which is going to be a concatenation of one or more English words. And the string is going to be written in Camel Case. So let's say we have a string like this, what I'm trying to highlight. Here, S equals one, two, three. Technically, this is one word because there is no space anywhere in between any of the letters. But you can clearly see that these are three words. So one is a word, two is a word, and also three. So how do we know when a new word begins within our string? Well, we can simply look at the type of character. If the letter is uppercase, it means this is the start of a new word within our string. So a better example would be what they have in this sample input. You can see save changes in the editor. And these are five words. So the first one is save. Everything is lowercase because we're using camel case. But then the next word begins with an uppercase letter here, C. So changes is one word. And then we can see in is one word. And the editor, these are two words. So now I'm going to add an ampersand. Just want to pass my argument by reference when I run this program. And the first thing that I want to do is have an integer that I'm going to call words. And I'm going to set this to zero. The point of having this variable is to be able to return the value corresponding to the number of words within our string. Now that I have this and I can return it, I need to write a loop and I'm going to have a for loop like this. So I'm going to say for every character within my string, I'm going to check if the character is a lowercase character or a lowercase letter, or if it is an uppercase letter. So in order for me to check that reliably, I can use the ASCII table. Here we have the first column is called DEC for decimals. And the last column is description. So it tells us what kind of character we are dealing with. So now let me scroll all the way back down to 65. And you can see the decimal representation is 65. The letter is A and the description is uppercase A. So you will see uppercase B, C, D, E, and all that, all the way to uppercase Z. And that is 90 for the decimal representation. After that, we have a couple of characters and all the lowercase characters begin from 97 all the way to 122. So we don't care about the lowercase characters here. We only want to deal with uppercase. So we just have to check in an if statement if the decimal representation of a character is anywhere between the inclusive range of 65 and 90, then we know that it is an uppercase character. And in this case, it indicates the start of a new word. So then we can use that to update the value of our word variable. So I can simply say if int c, and this will give me the decimal representation of uh, my character using the ASCII table. So I can say if C is greater than or equal to 65 and int C is less than or equal to 90, then that means it is an uppercase letter. When you count, this algorithm is going to count like this. Changes is one word because we have an uppercase letter. In is one word also. And same thing for the editor. These are also two words but we've forgotten to count this save. Save is already one word. So you can either do something like this. We begin words with one and we return words, or you can have pre-increments. You can have this pre-increment like this. So this will increase the count of words and then return it. So um, that's pretty much it basically for this challenge. I have run the code and you can see that we passed test case uh, sample zero. And now I'm going to submit it and we should be able to pass all the 20 test cases. And we just did. So you can see that was a very easy hacker rank challenge, but it's always good to be familiar with the ASCII table because you can easily cast or convert your characters into integers and find out their decimal representation from the ASCII table. So that's it for this hacker rank challenge. If you guys liked my solution and you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe, drop your comments in the comment section and make sure that you turn on your notifications. I'll catch you next time. Bye.